watch now. Many people turn to low-carb diets to shed some pounds, but data show that you might be putting your long-term health at risk. Hmm. Well, now, a recent study suggests adding lots of veggies into a low-carb diet could offset those risks. And Dr. Malika Marshall is here tonight to discuss, and this is a local study. Yeah, and it kind of makes sense, it right? Does. I hmm. can't see you, Paula. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm backing up. You I'm going forward. Large head. You know what's all <laughs> You know it's all about me, Malika. <laughs> so it's a local like, study. Yeah, it is a local study. And these are researchers at Brigham and Women's Hospital who followed more than 15,000 adults over 25 years. And they found that people who took in about 50% of their calories in terms of carbohydrates, they had the lowest risk of premature death. However, among the people who chose to eat a low-carb diet, those who chose mostly animal-based proteins and fats like chicken and beef and pork and lamb and cheese, mm -hmm. they they actually had a higher risk of premature death, whereas those on low-carb diets who chose plant-based proteins and fat from things like veggies and peanut butter and nuts and whole grain breads, mm. they had a lower risk. So mm. if you're going to be on a low-carb diet, it's really good to try to incorporate some of those You're going to go chicken, healthy... all chicken all the time? Yes. Some broccoli with it. Exactly. Yeah. Got to have your veggies. And another reason for pregnant women to eat fish, because it could optimize your baby's eyesight and brain function. Mm. But Malika, always the question, how much fish are we talking about? So in this study, we're talking about three servings a week or more that's which is a, that's a, that's a, a lot yeah. it is a lot it's a lot for us but the the study was done in Finland where they well, tend there, to you eat, there you go they tend to eat a lot more <laughs> fish so they looked at babies whose moms tended to eat the highest amount of fish and they found that they tended to do better on vision tests now it's thought to be due to the fatty acids which are really important for nerve cells involved in eyesight and communication between neurons or brain mm -hmm. cells um, pregnant women are currently encouraged to eat some fish in their diet, but they're also told to stay away from fish that are high in mercury. Right, you know, mercury. So before salmon you change your diet, are those both high in mercury? Salmon, um, and tuna? salmon actually tends to be pretty good. Okay. Things like mm -hmm. king mackerel. There's a, there's a whole list. So right. talk to your prenatal provider before you change your diet and before you start. You know, figure out how much fish to eat. Exactly. Fun fact. Yes. Liam's ancestors are from Finland. I oh. am. Almost half Finnish. <laughs> Almost half Finnish. Yeah, you know, and though. apparently I have a big head. Uh, do they have big heads? They do have big heads. They do. Well, there apparently. you go. I never heard that. But there you go. <laughs> Dr. Doctor, Malik, thank, thank you very you. much.